Hey gang, stay tuned for an update on this old guy's attempt to get leaner at 62 years old. A nine-week body fat loss update. And I want to debut my first prototype shirt with my 60 plus fitness journey logo. So stick around. Welcome back to Mark 60 Plus Fitness Journey. Today is Thursday, May 26th, 2022, and I want to do two things. I want to do uh, an, up, an update on my Lose 7 Pounds of Body Fat in 7 Weeks program, which is now 9 weeks, and we'll go a little further than that, actually, and I'll talk about that, do a little update on that, and directly after that, I want to uh, talk about my new um, logo on a shirt. I got my first prototype shirt. Props to Tony Estrada for this. I uh, got my new prototype shirt. Not really happy with this particular color combination, but um, I'm going to talk about what I'm my ideas and thoughts on going forward with this a little bit later. So uh, let's get to the update. Then we'll talk about the shirt. Then we'll wrap it all up. So let's go do it. Alrighty, as you can see on the left there is me, March 27th, 2022 at 187 pounds. On the right, me today, May 26th, 2022 at 176 pounds. That is an 11 pound body weight loss in nine weeks. The preponderance of which I certainly hope is body fat. Now I'm sure I lost some water early on in this process and I hope I minimized any muscle loss. The lower outer pecs was a particular area I wanted to melt some fat off of. And I've got some more definition in the abs there. And when I started this nine weeks ago, I was on a 500 calorie a day deficit at 2,300 calories a day. Currently, the last two weeks, I'm on a 200 calorie a day deficit, consuming 2,600 or so calories a day. And that seems pretty comfortable. I think um, what I'm going to do is proceed on to about 171 pounds and see what that looks like and see what that feels like because I have a little bit more work to do on the lower outer pecs, for example, and as we'll see on my back. But I am uh, leaning up in the oblique area, the love handle area, definitely melting away. A lot of good progress there in nine weeks, I think. Now, as I said... This is uh, the lower back area. It's definitely, I can tell with this update more than any of the previous ones that I have lost some uh, significant amount of fat or melted some fat on that lower back area, love handle area. But still a little bit more work to do. There I can see some more definition on the lower portion of my lats. Getting a little leaner in the waist. Some definition right there that I didn't see before. My back really does lean up, or the definition shows a lot better once I'm leaner. So I'm feeling pretty good about the back, or the upper half in general. And just a quick little update on my legs. Now, this is another example of uh, this update, which is two weeks since the last one I did. I can definitely see more separation in my quads. Um, never carried a lot of body fat in my, in my legs, so uh, it's been slow going there because there wasn't a lot to lose, but I can see some definition right there. And here's an example of where I need to build this muscle up a little bit more on my left leg and put a little more muscle on my left leg in general, but I'm happy with this. All right, there you go physique update concerning my um, Get Lean program that I'm nine weeks into. And like I said, that started as a lose seven pounds of body fat in seven weeks program. So right now we're at uh, 11 pounds in nine weeks and I'm currently on a 200 calorie a day deficit. Whereas for the first seven weeks I was on, uh, maybe eight weeks, I was on a 500 calorie a day deficit, losing about a pound a week. I want to raise my calories from that point, which was 2,300 a day, 500 calorie deficit, to 
2,600, which is a 200 calorie a day deficit, which would be a lot smaller uh, or slower uh, weight loss. But uh, I'm not gonna, I don't know how much longer I'm going to do it. I want to see how reasonable it is to get. Oh, I, I don't want to pass the uh, lean and uh, body fat image I have in my head and cross over to emaciated and gaunt. So I want to be careful with this. Um, but so far, so good. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Just want to work on this part and this part and some right here. Um, lower back, lower abs, and uh, the pec area. Problematic for a lot of people. So, uh, and now getting onto the shirt. Thank you and props to Tony Estrada for prompting me on this. Um, he sent me a couple of really cool prototype pictures of this new logo and uh, on some um, t-shirts and I liked it. Uh, so what I'm going to do or what I did was get this one prototype shirt here. As you can see, it's, it's blue. Uh, I like blue shirts, but... Uh, the logo didn't show up exactly like I wanted because it, 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 see, it'll show up a lot better with a white background or a lighter background. So I have a new, I have a new shirt uh, on the way. My second prototype is coming and I should have it in about a week. It's going to be a white polo and uh, it's going to be a little bit better shirt. This is the cheapest one they had. I just wanted to see what it was going to look like. I don't really like the fit of this. and But uh, anyway, a new white polo. Uh, prototype will be here soon I'll show you that and I'm also thinking about t-shirts too just plain old tees that uh, I'm going to order some of those anyway just for the gym and with the logo on the front and a bigger one on the back which is exactly what Tony Estrada sent to me uh, but I guess if if there's enough interest and um, you guys and gals wanted to uh, were interested in a t-shirt or a polo shirt uh, I would certainly go ahead and order a bunch um, now I'm thinking, you know, somewhere around, if we, if we got 50 people or more interested, it might be cost effective for me to go ahead and order 50 t-shirts or polos, 25 each. I'm not sure. We'll just see how it goes. But let me know if, you, if you're interested in having a, uh, a 60 plus fitness journey shirt, polo shirt or t-shirt. All right. That's, that was quite a ramble. Uh, so with that, I'm just going to say thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Hit that like button, click that subscribe button, hit that notify bell, and keep coming back. And uh, with that, I will say, be nice to everybody. And until next time, go get them. Mark out.